Hey guys. So it's been a little while, but I am doing this vlog post to update you on what's kind of been going on. And I will get into the long story later, but right now we are driving. I, me and my mom are in my car and my dad and all of my brothers are in a truck with a trailer because we have a lot of stuff. And so we are moving me to Boise today and I will give you more information and pictures and videos of that to come. guys so um, it's been a long time since I've done a vlog but I've had a lot going on so I would like to um, start it up again just to let you guys know what's going on in my life right now so but first of all I would like to show you my new apartment bedroom and bathroom that I've built myself so here we go okie dokie you walk into the room anyways I've got my closet over here next to the door with my, if you want to change the world, <laughs> list. Um, and here are my books that I read. And then my bed. And my stand. And if you're going through hell, keep going sign that my mama gave me. And paintings, there's a wood. Um, I've got all my favorite perfumes. Plant. And I don't name my plants anymore because they keep dying when I name them and then it's like tragic to me. So, and there's my desk with like so many cords underneath it, all of my binders next to it. So, um, let me explain really quickly. Um, so I've got my calendar, but <laughs> all of these drawings, um, I did myself. Anyways, for Anat and Fizz, just I see them every day. And I remember and I'm just constantly memorizing all of the drawings. And of course, these are my favorite succulent babies. So, anyways, that is my new room. Okay, here is the bathroom. So I will show you, we've got all my nice little mini perfumes in there. <laughs> I like to smell good. And then Q-tips, more spray. <laughs> and then this lovely gospel quote, if any of you lack wisdom, ask God to give it to all men liberally. And abradeth not, and it shall be given him, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, Driven with the wind and tossed, James 1, 5 through 6. Anyways, my mama for Christmas got me this super cute shower curtain because I love wildflowers. Anyways, and then I've got all this nice shelving right here. Once again, more gospel beds. Um, and then more smelly things. I love lotion. <laughs> and um, down here at the bottom, I will be grateful for this day with the lotions. And then I keep my shoes in here. It's tile. So, anyways, that is my bathroom. So, I'm gonna tell you about, yeah, story time. I'm gonna tell you guys about what has kind of gone on and why I am in a new apartment and just like I missed a whole year of life. So, I will give you the quick rundown, the sweet and condensed story of what has been happening. So, um, to begin with, um, I am in Boise right now, <laughs> or I guess Meridian, Idaho, and going to school at CWI. And the reason that I am here is kind of a long one, but I'll get through it quickly. So I was going to school at BYUI previously, as you know, and <laughs> it was crazy. I was doing biology 24-7 and um and really struggling and i'm gonna be honest right now <laughs> it 
and I haven't wanted to talk about this because you don't like telling people necessarily about like, oh, I suck at school, <laughs> but here I am telling you I sucked at school. <laughs> Um, so what was going on was um, I was going into the teachers, um, the professor's office um, for two hours every day except for Saturday and Sunday and getting help and going to study groups and just I, I was doing so much work I could tell the teacher everything that all the different systems, everything about him, everything that we were learning I could regurgitate back to him. But <laughs> I was bombing my tests like it was it was bad <laughs> and I was getting so discouraged it was like oh my gosh I've always been able to work hard enough that I can get what I want um especially with school and grades like I never was naturally very smart but I could work really hard to get where I was and I was a 4.0 all through high school and so I was like what is the deal like can I be this stupid <laughs> what is going on and I was trying harder and harder. It seemed like the harder I tried, the worse it went. I was just, it was, it was a mess. I'd call my mom crying like every night. I was like, why is this happening? And I just felt so stupid. And that was really, really hard because when you're trying your hardest and doing everything you know how to, and then you're still failing, it's, it takes its toll. <laughs> so I, um, one of the last couple weeks, I was like, you know what, this is ridiculous. And I was talking to the professor and I was like, will you take a test with me and see what I'm doing wrong? Something has got to be wrong. I cannot be doing this bad. Like I've got to be doing something. So we went through the test and um, <laughs> went through all of the answers and he helped me with every single question. When we were done, I had gotten a 60% uh, with the teacher. And I was like, what in the world? And I was confused and was upset because I mean, if I get 60% with the teacher, no wonder I'm doing so terrible without the teacher. Like, how are you supposed to win? So we went, how the tests are created is um, every teacher that teaches that section in the school online or however, um, submits three to five questions for the test, but they all teach differently than each other. And they, all kind of cater towards certain sections and trick questions but then they ask those trick questions and when you're from another class you don't know what they're referring to so we went around to all the teachers that were there that day and they could only answer the three to five questions that they had submitted give or take a couple and I was like um, <laughs> well this explains a lot um, it was frustrating though because it was at the end of my third semester so this whole time I had been thinking I was just stupid and come to find out that wasn't necessarily the case I mean I'm no genius yet but it was I was furious <laughs> and come to find out afterwards everybody was struggling just as bad as I was um, and people were dropping out right and left because of how bad this situation was and I was just the only one stupid enough to stay and keep trying. <laughs> so the class would start out with like 150 to 200 students and by the last week there was only like 12 of us left. <laughs> and I was like, man, all these other people are so smart and they're genius and they're doing well on their tests. Well, that was because everybody else had left. So <laughs> it was it was an interesting time. Um, and I loved what I was learning. The teachers I really appreciated, but just they did not have things set up for the student's advantage. Um, they didn't have it set up for the student to succeed. And I'm not saying that that is with all programs, but the biology department there had some for real issues and their um, labs were all taught by students, which great, empower your students, but they weren't necessarily the best teachers and kind of had an edge to them sometimes that was not a healthy environment for learning. So it, I decided that, well, first of all, so I had like a 3.5 GPA and um, I applied to surgical technology school, which is what I'm going into. And I totally thought I was going to get in. And <laughs> I did not. And I had only applied to one school because I totally thought I was a shoe in and was like, oh, 
<laughs> problem. <laughs> I'll get in. But I didn't, and that rocked my world because that changed all of my plans. And all of a sudden, I was like, okay, crap, now what? So that week, in a panic mode, <laughs> I applied to 80 colleges and to like 20 something programs. And that's a large number in a week to apply to when you're freaking out. Um, <laughs> but a lot of the programs, this is how the programs in the US work as of when I was applying to them. They had enacted this new law that was gonna come into effect this year, actually, that um, there can't be any more certificate programs. Everything has to be an associate's degree for surgical technology, but most of the programs in the country were still certificate degrees. So I was like, I don't want to go start a certificate degree, degree and then have it illegal. Like that's just dumb. And I don't want to do the whole grandfathered in thing. And I just want to be able to get my dang degree. <laughs> so I, there was a lot of searching for which college offered associates programs. Um, and then you have public schools and then the private schools. And the private schools do not require a GPA. They give you a test instead to make sure that you're up to par with entering their program. And I was like, oh, this is for me. Like, I can't get anywhere else, so I'll do this. So I was actually gonna go to a school in Pennsylvania and I, well, with a lot of the colleges, they gave me this test. And they were like, oh my gosh, we've never had anybody do this good. Like, you really know this information. Why are you not trying to get into public schools? And I was like, <laughs> well, I am. Um, but my GPA is terrible and I explained the situation. They were like, oh, that's terrible because you have done really well on our tests. Like you should have been able to get into anywhere. And I was like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so <sighs> humbling moments, but, um, yeah, those schools are like $60,000 a semester, which <laughs> not money doesn't grow on trees from Katie. So that was not an option for me and I was like, uh, no. So I had to finally come to the conclusion that I just needed to restart and redo all of the work I had done, which is so hard when you know the information and you have it, but you have to redo it anyways. So definitely a growing time. Um, so then I had to decide which college I wanted to restart at and oh, I went back and forth and back and forth for months and just I would feel this and then the next week I'd be like no but this one and it just I was an emotional basket case <laughs> all summer long and I finally decided okay I am going to go to CWI in the fall when I get back from working this summer for my dad and so I <laughs> decided, yeah, let's go for it. And then COVID happened and um, they decided to do everything online. I was like, what? And I was like, I, but you have to live in their district. So I was like, I am not moving to Boise where it's super expensive and doing all online classes and online like medical labs, like that's, that's stupid. So I was like, I'll just work for my, or I'll just go to the college that's closer to home in Idaho Falls. And I signed up and had everything planned up and like the day before classes just felt so sick about it and prayed and prayed and was trying to make a decision. And I was like, this is the obvious route that I need to go, but I feel so sick about it. Like to the point of throwing up, I was just like, and it wasn't because I was nervous about, oh, my computer's going back. I wasn't nervous about school. Like school doesn't make me that nervous, but it just, it didn't feel right. And so the day before school started, uh, I was like, hey daddy, <laughs> can I have a job? <laughs> because I don't think I wanna go to school right now. And he was so good to work with. And so that whole year I um, worked for the best job ever, <laughs> even though I complained a lot, <laughs> um, maze play. And I got to work with my dad and the first couple months were horrible. <laughs> um, I really struggled um, working in that kind of setting, um, in an office setting. I am not, not an office person. Like if I learned anything, <laughs> not an office person. Um, and I struggled with my dad as the boss. That was definitely a learning curve and we were so frustrated with each other, but we were able to work it out. And I really enjoyed learning from the other employees and it was definitely a year of growth and I loved being at home um, with my family. My grandma passed away during that time and so it was really nice to just be close and to be involved in things where I probably wouldn't have been able to otherwise. 
and getting to spend time with my brothers was the best and with my mom and my dad I just I love my family and so that was really amazing being able to take that time to do that and I had a lot of health issues that I had to deal with during that time as well that I was able to get worked out um, and I didn't make any videos because it was the same thing over and over again I just like went to work in the basement and came up for dinner and went to bed and got up again. <laughs> so it, I, I didn't really have anything necessarily to say and I was making videos all day for the business. So I was like, by the time I was done with that, I was not in the mood to make more videos. <laughs> um, but that's, yeah, I was, I was doing a lot of marketing and learning how to market for them. I was doing a lot of videos, um, a lot of posts to Facebook. I was helping with the online ticketing system that they run for the customers, which if any of the customers are watching this video, it's fantastic. And there's so much offered within that system. I really, I know it's stupid, it's an online ticketing system, but I loved it because I know how much it can help people. So I really enjoyed that. Um, and then of course, field work. And then when you're the daughter of the employer, you kind of end up doing the odd jobs that others don't necessarily want to do and but that that's good because I need to work my way up through the ranks and somebody's gotta be the peon so <laughs> but it was great and I was I was treated well um so there was a lot of growing that this last year so um I decided that I went to pick a college again and decided to come back to CWI. I felt like this is where I needed to be at the time. And so I found an apartment, which was interesting to say in the least. Um, trying to find a roommate that's decent and has good values was not easy. I was excited and I got a nice apartment. I love my apartment. Um, so I moved up here and I'll be honest with you, the first week I was like, what did I do? Like, <laughs> such a culture shock. I was like, why in the world did I choose this? This is so different. I had judged cities on the architecture and the different buildings and how big they were. I hadn't thought about how different the people were and a city is truly the people. And so it's been different, very different attitudes than a small, little town um and i really missed home um the water here tastes like pool water so <laughs> water bottles <laughs> um and the drivers are crazy but i've always kind of been a crazy driver so i'm working on fitting fitting in here um and just i don't feel like people are as friendly um or as outspoken and i i miss that i love my hometown where everybody knows everybody and they're always willing to help out and I love it. I, I miss it. <laughs> um, but it's it's been good for me here to learn that because no matter how many times people tell you that, sometimes you just don't realize how right they were until you go and do the opposite, which I don't suggest doing in all cases, but <laughs> sometimes you gotta learn. Um, and so it's good and I am starting to slowly make a few friends in some of my classes. So I'm taking 19 credits or seven classes, so I just spend all day in my bed doing lots and lots and lots of homework. Um, but it's made me grateful for the people that support me from home and my family. And I, when I get a job and get my life figured out, I, I would like to move back to a small town with that kind of vibe and those kind of people, cause it's different. Um, I've traveled all the country and been through all of the big cities but it's very different driving through a city and living there. <laughs> um, everywhere that we stay in the summer is a farm and I love it. I, I love going to the different farms. There's a special feeling to farmers and their lifestyle and just being on somewhere, I, I feel safe on, on the farms all across the country. And I'm not saying that for every single farm, there's a few sketchy ones. <laughs> But most of them I feel safe and I, I love the people that we work with and so it was it's been a transition <laughs> the first week I called my mom crying every night once again so I was like oh my gosh I'm so lonely <laughs> like there's nobody to talk to there because as roommates when I used to when I was at college at BYUI everybody would be in each other's business and we'd like 
take turns in people's rooms doing homework together and we just like rotate and we'd spend all this time together and I am completely alone now so it's <laughs> I'm a little lonely <laughs> but that's okay um getting lots of homework done so it's a new journey a new adventure I'm not gonna lie I'm nervous about classes because I've had a hard time in the past and that's been something to definitely try to conquer and get over and get started again. Um, but I got to spend a day, <coughs> excuse me, don't have COVID. I got to spend a day um, watching surgeries um, a couple weeks ago and it was the most amazing experience. I loved every second of it and watching and learning from the amazing people that um, let me job shadow them and everybody was so nice. Um, and I'll have to tell you about that story more in depth later, but I realize this is what I want to do and that it may change sometime, but I feel like this is the direction I need to head. I love what I'm learning. I really, really, really want to be a surgical tech and that's why I'm doing this is because even though this is hard and even though it's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to, I really am dedicated to this. I want to help people. I want to learn. I I want to assist. I want to I want to be in the body and see the body every day and to be able to help fix things cuz I've been fixed so many times. And it's a way to give back and it's a way to keep learning and it's different every day. I I I love it. I'm not there yet and I don't know all the nitty-gritty and the hard things yet, but I do know that that's that's where I want to be. And so that's what I'm heading towards, that's what I'm working towards, and I just have to keep that in the back of my mind when all these other crazy things in my life are going on, is that I want to be a surgical tech, and I'm gonna get there because I am stubborn, I will work my butt off until I get there, even if, <laughs> yeah, it could take me a little while, but I'm gonna get there. Um, so that is the story of what has been going on. Keep your head up high and keep a smile on your face and you'll get through things. And even if it takes you longer than you think, you'll get there. So, welcome to the start of McKady's second go of college and wish me luck. <laughs>